Today we're looking at advantages and disadvantages in the French and Indian War. Hello, welcome to the Daily Bell Ringer. Please don't forget to subscribe and take a look at the questions down in the description. So the French and Indian War broke out in May of 1754 when a young George Washington opened fire on a small French scouting party. Although this skirmish was small, it was enough to ignite a major war between the European superpowers of Britain and France for control of North America. During the war, both sides had advantages and disadvantages. The British had several advantages going into the conflict over the French. First, the English colonies had a population far greater than New France. The population of the English colonies when the war began was estimated to be over 1 million, compared to barely 60,000 living in New France, with most of them living in Canada. Second, the British had a superior navy that grew its dominance at sea throughout the war as it made it very difficult for the French to get troops to America to fight. Third, the British had the aid of some Native American tribes. The Iroquois and Cherokee both sided with the British at the outset of the war. Now, you might wonder why any Native American tribe would side with the English since the English were very interested in taking land. You must consider that by this point, many Native Americans had grown accustomed to purchasing European manufactured goods, such as you know clothing, pots, pans, and guns from the British. And the British offered better trade prices for their goods than the French. Lastly, although the war did not start well for the British, by the end of the war, they had strong leadership back in Parliament in England that was determined to do whatever it took to win the war. The primary advantage for the French was their strong relationship with Native American tribes. Remember, the French had been more interested in trade rather than taking land from Native Americans. Tribes such as the Algonquin, Ottawa, and Shawnee sided with the French. These tribes provided invaluable information about the terrain and ge geography of the areas where the war was being fought and taught the French to fight in a new style that the British were unprepared for. Guerrilla warfare became the primary tactic used by the French in the Native Americans against the British. This warfare involved using hit-and-run tactics, ambushes, and attacking in densely wooded areas. They wouldn't come out into the open and face the British in traditional European style of fighting of the time. Secondly, the French had a centralized government that could act quickly once a decision was made it was possible to move troops and supplies to where they were needed to fight. As mentioned before, the British were an army built for open field warfare, and the French and Native Americans were simply not fighting in that style. There was quite a learning curve for the British to understand how to fight in this manner, and of course, the fact that they were wearing red uniforms that stuck out clearly in the woods did not really help them at all. Secondly, the British did not have a centralized government. Yes, there was a king back in England, but... In the English colonies, each colony had their own individual colonial government, and they could not agree on how the war should proceed, so at times it was difficult to get anything done. In fact, as the war was beginning, Benjamin Franklin proposed what was known as the Albany Plan of Union, and also published this political cartoon of the broken up snake urging the colonies to join or die. His Albany Plan of Union called for a grand council who would make laws, raise taxes, and set up defense for the colonies. Based basically what Congress does today. Franklin toured the colonies, urging the colonies to approve the plan, but nonetheless the colonies did not want to give up their individual power. This angered Franklin so much that he left the colonies and moved to London, where he would remain for the next 20 years until the American Revolution began. The primary disadvantage for the French was their extremely small population to draw from to fight the war, and the, air, and the area of New France was also extremely vast and just difficult to defend. And add to that, there were very few of these troops that the French had in America that were well-trained, and trying to get troops from France to America became very difficult with the might of the British Navy. Both sides had several things going for them, but also had several obstacles to overcome. So, with that, hopefully you learned something, and thanks for watching. 